My life be like. Hey guys, uh, today we have a little review video on this chainsaw that I just fixed up. It's actually a project that I've had, and my dad gave it to me to work on. It's a Model 41 Husqvarna air injection. It's a pretty good little saw. Um, a little bit of history on the saw. It was one of my dad's buddies' saw. And there was a problem with it, and you could never figure out what exactly was wrong with it. So, he gave it to my dad for free. And my dad had it sitting in the shed for about a year and a half. And um, I just needed, a, I just wanted a project to work on. So my dad said, here, I have this saw to work on. Um, the problem that there was with it is that you could start it, but then... You'd have to have choke on, and then once you shut off the choke or wrap the throttle right here. I'll show you guys, get a picture. So this right here is choke. So I'll just put that back in. And, uh, or if you press the throttle, um, it wouldn't stay running and shut off. And I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it, so I actually took part the carburetor and I'll I got this cover here to show you guys a better view of what I'm talking about. Um, I just recently finished this last Wednesday at running. No, last Thursday. I tried it on Wednesday, it didn't work for some reason. Um, then also on Thursday after school, go back home, try to turn it on for a bit, and then it works. That was miraculous. Screw that ignorant. That's one thing I hate about these chainsaws, these older ones especially, like this. Um, real pain in the butt because they have the screws on the covers instead of little clips like the new ones. So I'm going to take off this cover here. So just a little cover. This right here is just for your spark plug. Boot goes. Three little screws. They stay in the plastic. Um, so, this is what it looks like inside under that cover. Um, here is your, your cylinder spark plug, your boot, that's what I was talking about, that inserts right here. Um, this here is your little, I guess you'd call it an air filter. Um, just keeps all the grit out of there so it doesn't go into the carb, into your cylinder, burn off, cause um, any damage inside there. And a lot of people don't know how to tell if their saw isn't running. Um, Lots of people don't know how to clean it yearly. You're supposed to clean your machines out once at the end of every year. Um, and a way to prevent damage from happening is actually to um, drain your oil out. If you have any oil in there, just drain all that out at the end of every year. Drain your gas out completely. Then you're going to take your carb, clean it all out, clean out your lines. Probably you could buy new lines and a filter depending on what shape they're in. They, you might be able to reuse them. Hey guys, uh, back to where we were. My phone died unfortunately, so I had to go charge it. Um, so back to where we were. So I was talking about how to uh, clean your saw and how to know if damage is going to be occurring to your saw soon or if it's going to blow up or anything. Um, so you're basically, you're going to check all your, your cords, all your gas line, everything. You're just going to take everything apart. You're going to clean it all out and make sure that it, it runs good. And another way for checking is to see if you have cylinder and piston damage, inter internal damage on your saw is you'll take off your exhaust pipe. So you'll undo these uh, two bolts here. And then once you take off this cap, there will be, you gotta watch out because there will be a, a mesh guard inside here. And if you don't take this, if you don't watch where this mesh guard comes, how it comes out of, when you go to try to put it back together, it will not work. So you gotta, it goes in a specific way, and that's the only way it'll work. 
So once you take out that mesh guard, inside there will be another two screws similar to this that go straight into your uh, into your cylinder. And uh, once you take those out, you'll be able to see your inside of your cylinder. And when you pull on this cord here, you will be able to see your uh, your piston moving up and down. And then to know if your piston, if you have any internal damage here. Your, when your piston goes up, you will see that there will be marks, like straight marks going up and some going down. And the piston will be kind of like a, a darker color with a little bit of white maybe sometimes. And there will be little scratches in it filled up with carbon buildup. And that's how you know if it's blown up or close to. Like sometimes there will be just a little bit of scoring. But once you have a little bit of scoring, it's just going to turn into a bunch because carbon buildup since it's a two stroke part it's real bad for that um, four strokes as well they're real bad because oil leaks out of the valves gaskets break then it gets in your piston and burns and it doesn't burn very good it creates flakiness and it, it, it makes this cake cakey fluffiness stuff inside there and then it gets stuck in between your piston and your cylinder it moves up and down and dries up and hardens and it scratches and it wrecks your saw so a way to avoid that is not try not to burn your oil too too rich, your gas too rich with too much oil. That will prevent that from happening. And always clean out your saw. Keep it all clean like me when I took this thing apart here. I cleaned all inside there so stuff wouldn't go back in if it perhaps managed to fall off. Um, and uh, that carb, I cleaned that all out too. And I cleaned out the... Uh, the little air vent, the little air cleaner. Um, I cleaned all that out and it seems to be working pretty well. Um, next thing is your bar and chain. Your chain you're going to want to sharpen it lots because cutting all that wood, wood is, it's a, it's a material that destroys metal, especially chains and uh, blades over time. And it dulls your blade a lot and sometimes you'll be cutting like a pallet and you'll go and you'll hit a nail or a screw that really messes stuff up so you always have to sharpen it so you have these little round files that go in and you gotta sharpen them a special way and you always want to make sure that your bar here that's what this piece right here is called it's your bar those you always want to make sure that they're not bent because I could throw if it's bent your chain could pop off fly off break even so you always want to make sure that's in good shape too and I'll be having a little uh, test run video to show you guys how it's running now um, I'm really impressed with it right now um, so as I told you guys in the last video this is going to be a running video so let's get started um, before I'm going to start though, I'm going to show you guys something that I didn't tell you guys in the last one. And it's about this little red kill switch right there. Lots of people forget about that. This has to be flicked that way for it to run. If it's flicked in there like that, it's not going to work. So you got to flick it that way. And it's a lot easier to start it with your choke on. So just warn you guys about that. So here we go. Make sure that's on. Here we Pretty good. 